Good morning, everyone. This is a article about color changing contact lenses that could help with drug delivery. So I already came to you with a video previously a few months ago that discussed how they want to use contact lenses to detect glucose in tears. Now they've upped the ante and they want to use contact lenses to help with delivering drugs. And they're using these photonic crystal contact lenses to allow the controlled and monitored drug release. Functional contact lenses are on the market. They're a very exciting method of drug delivery to the eye, but have so far been limited by difficulties in controlling drug release and monitoring this release in situ, meaning in the tissue. Now, this person, Jinge Dang, and his groups at China Pharmaceutical University and Southeast University, China, show that a combination of molecular imprinting and structural color could provide a solution. They've reported this in ACS Applied Materials and Interfaces. A contact lens containing specific drug binding sites with the capability of sustained release over time. Furthermore, they show that the device can also self-report this drug delivery process as the binding and release of the target molecule to the contact lens results in a change of the refractive index of the matrix. And they're talking about the matrix of the, the material that's being used. Drug release can be observed directly as a color change of the lens. They're using these pH responsive photonic crystals that they've designed where the bright color contact lens iris is a result of the 3D porous structure of the matrix. By using a regular arrangement of identical silicon dioxide nanoparticles as a template, the group created the well-defined structured uh, polymeric lens with spherical cavities. And I wanna mention just quickly that they have used nanoparticles, um, which are one times 10 to the negative nine meter uh, nanometer particles for a drug delivery. They've used platinum, gold. Gold is probably the most important one that they've used to deliver drugs. Maybe I'll come with another video about that. But in this case, they've taken that a step further. They wanna be able to put contact lenses into a patient and deliver drugs that way. So it goes uh, almost immediately into your brain to start the, the process the, the, and the treatment. They go on to say the color of the material is directly related to the size of templating nanoparticles. The greater the size of the spherical cavities, the longer the wavelength of light reflected from the contact lens. In addition, the researchers show that the binding and release processes can be stimulated by the change in pH experienced when the lens is transferred from the drug loading solution to an artificial tear fluid. This is because the pH affects the specific interactions between drug molecules and the functional monomer used to construct molecular specific binding cavities. As the binding and release of the drug molecule causes the expansion and contraction of the matrix, the team were then able to measure this directly by measuring the wavelength of the reflected light. They showed that the release of the drug from the lens for 12 hours decreased the reflected wavelength by 36.4 nanometers. A shift in this magnitude is perceivable as a color change even by the naked eye. Wow. So if you give the drug after 12 hours, you can, you can see a change. And here on the left, they talk about how you can read more. That goes back to the previous article I talked about using soft contact lenses to help diabetes patients because the contact lenses are actually um, detecting glucose in your tears. And they want to link this contact lens to your phone. So when your glucose level goes too high, it will send a alert to your phone. 
telling you to, you know, send you a text message to your phone telling you to take your insulin or to test your, your blood sugar. This innovative method of monitoring the drug release means that the tricky task of collecting and analyzing tears can be avoided. The researchers also suggest that the design of this functional lens based on these techniques can be applied to a range of drugs where the combination of these techniques has the potential to address some of the major challenges encountered in drug delivery to the eye. Moreover, the team demonstrated the reusability of these lenses. The molecular imprinted matrix shown, was shown to be capable of repeated drug binding and release. The time scales of these binding and release processes could fit easily into a patient's lifestyle where the lens could provide treatment for 12 hours during the day and then be subsequently reloaded for 12 hours at night. So this once again coming from physicsworld.com. I'll leave a link to this article in the description box, but they have now developed color changing contact lenses that could improve drug delivery. delivery. You all let me know what you think about this topic in the comments section like comment share subscribe and i'll come to you with another video soon have a great day